Ever since the abolition of slaves in the 1800s, there was a constant tension between whites and blacks. In the 1950s, struggle over civil rights heightened the tension between them and brought it to a whole new level. This created feelings of hatred towards each other in a way that had never been before. Starting as early as the 1910s, leaders like Marcus Garvey constructed the theory of black nationalism. This belief was that blacks should socially, economically, and politically separate themselves from whites. Black nationalism wants black pride and a unity among the black people. In the beginning of black nationalism, a writer named Frost Fanon wrote The Wretched of the Earth, in which he analyzed the role of class, race, national culture, and violence in the struggle for national liberation. This view gave blacks a whole new look on civil rights. During the 60s in the black nationalism movement, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. preached unity between whites and blacks. He preached nonviolent marches and protests. His policies were the direct opposite of black nationalists, who preached separation and violence. Malcolm X was a major leader and supporter of black nationalism. Despite, despite King's beliefs, Malcolm X believed that nonviolence was the philosophy of a fool. He declared that there would be bloodshed if the racism problem was ignored. He announced any compromises with whites, and after King's I Have a Dream speech, Malcolm said, while King is having a dream, the rest of us Negroes are having a nightmare. Black nationalists were also commonly members of the Nation of Islam, such as Malcolm X. Malcolm X converted many celebrities to ensure that it was a popular movement among blacks. They believe that blacks are the original humans, and whites are potential humans, they just haven't evolved yet. The Black Panthers were a political group that supported, supported black nationalism. To blacks, the Panthers represented racial dignity and self-reliance. The Black Panthers used aggression and force to make their statements. Their members were often seen with guns. This caused a certain disregard held by whites. Since the black nationalists wanted quick change, they used violence to achieve it. This was met with violence from whites. Riots would break out. Riots occurred in Atlanta, Detroit, San Francisco, Oakland, Baltimore, Seattle, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, Newark, Chicago, and Brooklyn. These often resulted in multiple deaths. Very oftentimes, the violence of the riots didn't work out as well as planned. They set back the blacks in many ways. The white public gave them little sympathy, and other blacks didn't want to join after seeing the violent outcomes. The riots overall slowed down the, the movement. In the end, black nationalism had its successes and failures. It gave the civil rights movement more publicity and portrayed blacks as a proud, independent people. It failed, though, by gaining very little ground in the movement at such a high cost of life. It resulted in the death of many of its leaders, Malcolm X and a few others.